Today, workers at the BAE shipyard in Portsmouth were preparing the bridge section of the aircraft carrier for its sea voyage to Scotland. It will sit on top of the flight deck, and from here, the giant 65,000-ton ship will be controlled. The section in the forward island that we stood on here, as you said, will be used to navigate and control the ship. There's another island called the Aft Island, uh, which is the Heathrow Airport end of the ship, if you will, and that will control the flight operations that is the main part of the carrier's uh, role. Just a privilege to work, work on something this big. I've always been involved with ships, and to be right from the start, it's, for me, it's a privilege to be here. Final assembly of the aircraft carriers is taking place at Rosyth in Scotland. The bridge superstructure will be lifted into place at the start of March. Back in Portsmouth, the 1,300 shipyard workers are now building a big section of the second aircraft carrier. Meanwhile, discussions are continuing over what the future holds for the yard once that work is completed. I know that the company is in, in discussions with the ministry and the government, etc., about the future of, of shipbuilding in the UK. Uh, but for the moment, I've got plenty to do here in the next couple of years, and I'm really, really focused on the delivery here. One cable to wheel over, check quarters. This Royal Navy simulator shows what HMS Queen Elizabeth will look like when she arrives in Portsmouth in 2017. Steve Humphrey, BBC South Today, Portsmouth.